So, Chris, we've uh, completed um, much of what's in the dilution. There are other functions within the system to yeah. fine tune it to what you need. Do you have any other applications? The other one I'm interested in is aliquoting. I, I, need, I need to fill between 50 and 100 vials, 1 ml, for an extraction process, and I need to do that as quickly as possible, okay. and obviously as precisely, as accurately as possible. So, could you show me that, please? Yeah, for sure. Um, as I mentioned before, the um, system fluid line is inert so it is able to take any reagents materials whether organic or aqueous through. Um, much like the dilution wizard when we go into aliquot dispense it's pretty straightforward um, it's just given us an option there to select the, uh, the amount of reagent that we wish to dispense and it will actually calculate how many from an individual aspiration it we're about to fill. So if in your one mil you suggested that we can put one mil in, thousand microliters because this is a 10 mil syringe, it's showing 10. And what will happen here is we're going to put on the refill function here. So here it says refill off. Yep. I'm going to go here, now it's on. So what that means is it will continue to refill and dispense along the lines of what we actually need to do here. So I'll initiate that program and we can see the speed at which that's working. So again, first step is show. So it'll keep refilling as long as I'm pressing the button on the probe. Exactly. Okay. You're, you're in control Good. of the system. So yeah. first stage, it will actually work to um, pick up. It's looking to um, aspirate the first amount of reagent. 10 mils is here. And if I was to be filling these, these containers, I'd actually press and dispensing each time I move in. Can dispense yep. the one mil that I requested. And I can and do contactless dispensing as well, with depending on the liquid and the, and the volume. Exactly, yeah. yes. We can choose, as we've seen here, we, we're going through, because this is positive displacement, so it has a positive cutoff, and you can see the small air yep. bubble there. We're moving through, dispensing that one mil each time, and then it will automatically refill. Yep. Uh, to the end of that program. Yeah, good. That will run through. Um, we do have another function in the setup. This is allowing us to dispense it with the unit. We have another function changing the valve assistance to a continuous flow program. Okay. The continuous flow program allows one syringe to fill while the other syringe is mm. dispensing. This brings into play both the syringes, so it will have aspirated our 10 mils in this instance. And each time I depress, the other syringe is filling with also the volume. So it's ready to go. It's ready to go, and I don't yeah. have any delay. The delay is minimal, as you saw. It only takes uh, around sort of six to eight seconds to fill a 10 mil syringe, which is pretty quick, as we see. Uh, working through, we're dispensing those amounts. Yeah. Very quickly, very precisely, but also very accurately because of that positive displacement system sure. that the unit has. And then the last step here, it's filling again, so there's a few seconds, and it's ready to go again for the next row. So that's the time, the six to eight seconds I would save if I'm using it if we change the in format the two for syringe you. mode. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Okay, Got it. okay so that's a fairly simple process. Now, we can, uh, rather like the other systems, adjust the aspiration and dispense speeds dependent on the solvent you're using. So ensuring that we're getting the correct delivery of the solvent uh, into yeah. your vials. Yeah. There you go. Okay, excellent. Yeah. We're back to wizards here.